Seventh day within the octave of nativity, Thursday, December 31st, evening meditation. Meditations are taken from meditations and readings for every day of the year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, bishop and doctor of the church, first choice as teacher in moral theology. Act of faith in the presence of God, in nomina patria, fili, spiritu sancti, amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided trinity, one God and three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me from the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pana dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or Penobis Peccatoribus, Nucan in Hora Mortis Nostre, Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Sicud Arat in Principio, Nucet Semper, and in Secula Seculorum, Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening meditation. He differeth nothing from a servant. Galatians 4, 1 through 5. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, says St. Paul. On considering the immense mercy in the work of human redemption, St. Zachary had good reason to exclaim, quote, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, because he hath visited and wrought the redemption of his people. Luke 1, 68. Blessed forever be God, who has vouchsafed to come down upon the earth and be made man in order to redeem mankind, quote, that being delivered from the hands of our enemies, we may serve him without fear. Luke 1, 74. In order that the that loosened from the shackles of sin and death, wherein enemies held us fast, bound, and enthralled, we may fearlessly, and with the freedom of the children of God, love him, 
and serve him during this life, and afterwards go to possess and enjoy him face to face in the kingdom of the blessed that have been closed against us heretofore, but now thrown open to us by our divine Savior. We were, in fact, all the slaves of hell. But what has the eternal word, our sovereign Lord, done to free us from that slavery? From being Lord, he became a servant. And why? Almighty God is Lord of all that is, or that can be in the world. Quote, in thy power are all things, for thou hast created all. Esther 13, 9. Now, though this sovereign king borne sway over the angels in heaven and ruled all creation, he did not rule over the hearts of men. Mankind was groaning under the miserable tyranny of the devil. But the prophet Isaiah long ago foretold that our Redeemer would destroy the empire which Satan held over mankind, quote, and the scepter of their oppression thou hast overcome. Isaiah 9, verse 4. Why does the prophet call Satan an oppressor? Because, says Saint, says Saint Cyril, this heartless master exacts from the poor sinners who become his slaves heavy tribute in the shape of passions, hatreds, disorderly affections by means of which he binds them in still greater servitude and at the same time scourges them. Behold, Jesus is scarcely born, says the venerable Bede, before he assumes himself the form of an office of a servant in order to win us freedom from the slavery of Satan. In token of his servitude, he begins to pay off our debts by his sufferings. God suffers himself to be bound in swaddling bands because he had come to free the world. My sovereign Lord and Redeemer, I was lost. Thou hast ransomed me from hell, but unhappy me, I have often since ruined myself again, and thou hast often released me again from eternal death. I am thine. Save me. Since, as I hope I am thine, suffer me never more to cast myself away. But rebelling against thee, I am resolved to suffer death and a thousand deaths rather than ever again become thy enemy and the slave of hell. I entreat thee to grant me thy grace that I may always ask thee for help to overcome the devil. O Mary, obtain this grace for me by the love which thou bearest to thy son. The world stood in admiration of that grand act of charity which St. Paulinius performed in consenting to become a slave for the ransom of the son of a poor widow. But what comparison does this bear with the charity of our Redeemer, who, in order to rescue us from the slavery of the devil and from death, our just due, being God, chose to become a servant, to be fast-bound with cords, to be nailed to the cross, and thereon, in the end, to lay down his life in a sea of sorrow and ignominy. In order, says St. Augustine, that the servant might become Lord, God chose to become a servant. Quote, O amazing condescension of that bounty towards us, O inestimable tenderness of thy charity, exclaims the Holy Church, quote, that thou might redeem the servant thou hast delivered up the Son, unquote. Thou then, O God of boundless majesty, hast been so fascinated with love for men that to redeem these thy rebellious servants, thou hast consented to condemn thy only Son to death. But, O Lord, replies the holy man Job, quote, what is man that thou should magnify him? Why dost thou set thy heart upon him? Job 7, verse 17. What is man who is so vile and has proved so ungrateful to thee that thou should make him so great by honoring and loving him to such an excess? Tell me, why are the salvation and happiness of man of so much importance to thee? Tell me why thou lovest him so much that it would seem as if thy heart were set on nothing else but to love man and make him happy. Since thou, O my Jesus, hast paid the price of my ransom, I beseech thee, let not that blood which thou hast shed for me be lost to me. I am sorry that I have despised thee, O my love, but grant me more sorrow. 
Make me know the evil I have committed in offending thee. Most Holy Mary, pray to Jesus for me and for all sinners. Obtain for me light and grace to love thy Son, who has loved me so much. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will, that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God. For the patience which thou, with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance in thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. Nomina Patri, Fili, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.